ton ami yeah. You're all I see When I close my eyes and dream You're all I see yeah. You're all I need, all I need So, driving on after the Atlantic Road on towards Mulder, Merlin, and now there's a park up up here. This isn't it, it's just back down there, but we drove up here a bit because I wanted to come and have a look at the spectacular view. Wind's picking up a bit. Look at this lovely kiosk, cafe, restaurant thingy. Nice. And I see the sun starting to burst through. Wow. Some view. Oh, there's a nice ferry there. Let's get up a bit higher. I think that's moulded down there. Oh, it's the football stadium. Yeah. Here comes the rain. Once again. The sun's bursting through over there, though. I'm going to go up to the next bit to get a picture. Let's walk up to this part. I think we might get the sunset. I doubt it, though. There's too much cloud below there. Let's have a little look. If I can get up here without slipping over. Oh, great. Hello. Oh, wow. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> wow. So good. When I reach out, you hold on. Was it a rain? Can't see now, blinded by the sun. Was it a rain of falling? When I touch you, you break through. Was it a rain of falling? Was it a rain of falling? Wow, that rainbow just got a lot better. Wow. Look at that. Here am I meant to find little peace of mind. You dream away for a day. We're coming to Mulder. Beautiful morning. Obviously it could change <laughs> quite quickly. But now the forecast looks nice for, uh, for this morning. So we're going for a little walk around Mulder. Found a parking place. Uses the Easy Park app, which we got earlier this year when we were in Germany. It's really easy to use. So let's have a little stroll around. 
we drove through and it looks lovely doesn't it beautiful stop last night at the top of the hill it's a viewpoint up above Mulder and yeah it was lovely woke up this morning last night there was a couple of cars turned up with guys in tents uh, a couple of girls as well in little little small tents I heard a noise about half three this morning I opened the window had a look out well there was about seven cars about 14 little tents parked it was like a little festival they weren't making a noise they were just sleeping there but it was a bit bizarre sleeping in the gravel car park and a tent but yeah so we drove off this morning they were just getting up French as well all French people weren't they French cars yeah anyway let's see uh, see the offerings from uh, Mulder I wonder how big the electric batteries are in that then. Yeah, we've got a lorry on it. Yeah. You think the noise the other ones make when they start? <laughs> no, it's his. Uh... It's nice and calming as well to watch it. Yeah, it is, yeah. Right. Let's get cracking. Come on, Dolly. There's a swimming area. Got diving board, ladders, changing rooms in there. And people have just got out and <laughs> getting themselves dressed. So, yeah, a nice bit of cold water swimming every morning. Why not? That lady there has just been in for a dip. Must be nice and refreshing. Yeah, it's a lovely uh, seafront, isn't it, to walk around. Got the boardwalk all the way around, it looks like. Really nice place. There's a fish mungas. Yeah, get your fresh fish daily. I was reading that the Norwegians don't seem to be eating enough fish at the moment and one of the shops the Rima 1000 has put a 20% discount on loads of fish stuff at the moment to try and encourage them to buy and eat more fish as you walk along the uh, seafront you come to the Acre Stadium which is where uh, Mulder FK play their football I guess uh, the first famous player really to come from here would have been Ole Gunnar Solskjaer who went from here to Manchester United and then won the treble and he scored the winning goal at the 1999 Champions League final against Bayern Munich in Barcelona he was born in Christiansand where we were yesterday they came to play his football here and they bought him for one million pounds seems daft nowadays that price anyway beautiful stadium right on the seafront looks quite new actually not sure if the money from the sale of him <laughs> might have paid for it mm -hmm. 
nice place to come and watch football. I guess unless it's blowing a hoolie. A bit like Inverness Cali. Right on the seafront. You can actually see through the little restaurant part to the, uh, the stadium. I don't think it's going to come out. I'm just going to get my reflection probably, which is far better than looking through that window. You think they'd have a little kiosk or something along the waterfront? I, I did see people with takeaway cups sitting down, so. Moose blanket. It's quite nice. Two for two, one, no, no, that's more expensive than the Arctic yeah. Circle Centre. There's some nice warm socks there, I could have done with them this morning. So, popped in the Nipen Bakery. Amazing selection of cakes and pastries in there. We've decided on these two with an Americano and a hot chocolate. A little bit spilt because I had to carry it all the way around the street. But there you go. So, you can get some as well to see what you've got. so we're going to crack on with this and see what it's like. Mine's a Napoleon cake. Yours had no name, but it just looked like a crumbly toffee kind of yeah, it looks amazing. thingy. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, right, time, let's get our uh, 11s on, even though it's 12. Yeah. Like that, yeah? That was absolutely delicious. So yours turned out to be a toffee apple crumble. Toffee apple crumble. And mine was like a vanilla slice. A vanilla slice. Yeah. yeah, it was lovely. Right. Yeah, coffee was good. You said the hot chocolate, hot chocolate was divine, was amazing, yeah. and that cost us pretty much twenty quid. Yeah, I think it was nineteen pound, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Nineteen pound so, forty something. So. Yeah, it is expensive. <laughs> it is expensive. Anyway, it was nice, it and the, nice. I wish I'd filmed in the bakery. I'm go I'll have to go in another one and film because it is somewhere else. <laughs> I said to the lady. Everything looks lovely. She looked through it and it is. Yeah, no, really good. Yeah, it's amazing. Really nice. Right. We've got about 28 minutes left on the parking, so we'll head back, get ourselves in position and move on. Do you enjoy your mouldy cake? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. Fantastic. Great place, lovely little place. It is really nice. Really, really nice. Lovely sea Definitely from. Worth a visit. Yeah. Come off the Atlantic Way, off the Atlantic Road. And um, yeah, it's why not? Christiansund and here are two places that I really like. Yeah, lovely. Right, let's move it on. Statue of a woman. With a tray of flowers. Pygmalion. Pygmalion. Seems to be coming to life. Just got midday and yeah. people are appearing. It's almost as if we had the place to ourselves for the first hour and a half. There we go. Oh wow.
So, waiting for the ferry to come over. This is the Solstness to Afans ferry. Uh, it's only been about a 15 minute drive. Yeah. 15 minute drive from Mulder. Absolutely gorgeous landscape. Cracking day. So, uh, this one, it's only a short one. Short hop over to there. Yeah. And we're making our way along to, I don't know how even to try to pronounce it, Aldaznes. Aldaznes. So we come out to Andances, park in there again using the Easy Park app. We want to go on the uh, Romsdale Gondolan, which is a cable car that goes up the top of the mountain. So we'd like to do that. It says it's open, but we've not seen it move since we got here. So we shall find out if it is actually operational today. Well, hopefully it is because it's something that we really want to do because it goes really well with my fear of heights and Lisa's fear of cable cars oh it's going excellent so that's the answer <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it looks pretty cool there it goes so we're going to go all the way up to the top and maybe have a bite to eat at the restaurant sitting out in the sunshine should be cool right now we know let's get it done so we've arrived at the tickets yeah but should we go in and talk first because we need to add two dogs so I'd like to go into the speak to somebody about getting the ticket so there is a machine to buy the ticket there's, a, no, there's nobody in the ticket desk back in five minutes okay well so we'll have to try it oh no it's not difficult it's just whether it lets you add the dogs touch screen for getting tickets return tickets Two adults. Right. Hello. Dogs. dogs. This is what I, I thought this would happen. Add the dogs. Add dogs. All right, cancel that. Cancel that. I need to add the dogs. Touch screen. Return tickets. Does 
Your dog's in three. Three? Oh, oh three. okay. Oh, uh, that's fine then. <laughs> uh, Thank okay, you. that's fine then, yeah. Right, well, that was easy. Dogs are free. Luckily, the guy helped us out. We're now fully on board. When do they go every? Every half an hour and on the hour. And we're off. Wow. Oh, we have to wait 20 minutes. It goes every half hour. And then we're on our way. They said it's going to rock a bit when we're up there, so not to be alarmed. Come on, that's it. Come on. You better see how clean the roof is now. Hey. Yeah. Right, that's quite fast. That's got them looking out the window now. That's the fishing boat just gone out with them people on it. It's nice and quiet. Wow. It's really smooth. You right, Dee? <laughs> Don't know. Well, you can see right at the bottom of the water. Seeing the animals in the forest. Some hype now. Almost there. Oh, is the glacier list? <laughs> yeah, they're still there. <laughs> Just hit away your hair. <laughs> Rock my baby on the tricky time. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's fresher up here, isn't it? Wow. No dogs allowed. You're not allowed to eat your own food.
Right. Oh, there's the glacier, look. So that guy just stood on the edge there with nothing to stop him falling. Fantastic viewpoint. A little bit higher. Lisa's opted out. <laughs> A view over at the other peaks from the other side. What do you do when you're 708 metres above sea level? You lay down and snooze, you look for people to come and cuddle you, <laughs> but we raise a glass and toast Norway. To nature. <laughs> to nature. Ching. So, you alright now? Uh, I'm alright now, I've got my legs back to normal now. Your feet are back on yeah. terra firma. <laughs> yeah, that was exhilarating, yeah. but scary as hell. <laughs> I hate heights and I hate cave crawling. I'm terrified of heights, I loved it. Don't know why, loved it. The cable car, perfect. Front view on the way home, loved it. Has to be done. Has to be done, yeah. But I didn't feel peculiar at all. There you go, it's the first. There's a little souvenir show over there, might go and have a. Yeah, look at the sun still shining over there, it looks. You seem to have perked up quite a lot since we got back down. Yeah. I'm sure it did. <laughs> Reindeer skin. That's a different version of it. There's the Mac that you want. I'll get you the red balloon, you get the Mac. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm good. What's that? Girls by girls. Oh, look, proper wool leggings, those. Oh, yes, yeah. Fancy some woolen leggings? Oh, tea towels. Nice. 
There he is, yeah, I was just looking at them there. Huh? 659 kroner. It's not bad. A range of colours. I thought you'd like something like that, that white. Looks like a little scarf, that neck, neck scarf. Yeah, or a Norwegian flag. So I was looking at 109, what do we pay? There you go, kids. Don't go to the Arctic Circle Visitor Centre and get duped to buy stuff. <laughs> They're probably cheaper still somewhere else. Is this an oven glove? Is that oven, oven mitten? Or this one, that? Replace Moses one? Oh, yeah. This morning I was craving for some socks. That one's a Norway run on. I may well do it. I may well do it. And what did I pay for the most stickers? Because there's a four of them here. Did I get two that size? I think I did. Oh, I don't like that. And that's it. Oh, yeah, Al yeah. And Al yeah, that place. Adultness. Put your hat on this. Yeah, it's all right. Put it on there. Do you want the shield as well? Put your hand through it. <laughs> I can't see your face though. So there we go. That was amazing. Lovely little town. And we know what it's called now. It's called... This? I can't remember, okay. <laughs> she literally just told us. I know, I've got brown like a goldfish. Ondelsness. Ah, okay. Ondelsness. So, Ondelsness and the amazing cable car. Well worth a visit. Yeah, brilliant. We didn't go in the museum place yeah. to visit a thing, but um, yeah, it's lovely. So there's Moseph. We're going to uh, head off now and make our way towards tomorrow's route. We'll stop this side of it. So uh, we'll see you where we park up. Hopefully it'll be a decent one again. Norway's not failed us yet. I don't expect it to.